Hello, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and we are on the road again and we are going to Lake Roosevelt and you are with us this time as well. The lake is full, the water is to the top level and there is a Roosevelt Dam after that and also that dam dam uh, is loaded to the top and we will gonna have a good time at Lake Roosevelt. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future. So we are driving with two cars again. I'm alone in my car and I'm pulling the trailer first for the about next 60 miles or so. And, and then after that, so we could have gone a longer way uh, through Globe. And there is a, a non-Tesla charger, a high-powered charger from, I think, Electrify America. It's under the name from APSs. Uh, that is our public public uh, utility company here, but it was, you know, kind of too vague. So if you are there, then it's quite far away, and you are in the middle of nowhere, and then you have to rely on two chargers if they're working or not working. With Tesla, I don't have a problem. They are always working, as in 99.97 percent or so. They are always working, but if you come to those chargers and then sometimes they're not working. Sometimes I read the history of those chargers uh, and if something happened there. And in this case, keep the fingers crossed. Now this case, my wife said, no, I'm not going to a non-Tesla charger. They might not be working. We went through an example before we went to a non-Tesla charger and that piece wasn't working. It was when I was in Chatham adapter. I never uh, followed up on that. It was a little bit, bit of crazy. Thing is that oh, there's another trailer here passing me on the right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we decided to go with two cars, so we, I do the first part portion of that in total 65 miles to a way where I've not gone before. That is at least with the trailer that is up, up the Beeline Highway, that is Highway 87 here in Arizona, and or US 87 probably. And we're gonna go uh, cross through town easily, 55 is good, it's good enough uh, to conserve some, some, some energy. And then we will be arriving and you probably next time you see something from the mountains there, mountainy area, and uh, something from uh, when I'm switching the trailer again. Okay, here we go. First on the left side is Fort McDowell Casino and then we are going towards the mountain so we have to watch out a little bit because we are consuming more electricity on the way up. So that is a casino and that means Indian Reservation. So that Fort McDowell Casino is Indian Reservation. So we're gonna go past this light and, and we're gonna go up the hill. We're gonna pass soon uh, the Swaro Lake and here are a lot of wild horses. You probably have seen some of them in my movies before. There in the back I want to show you something as well. That is the Four Peaks Wilderness area there. So you see four peaks of the mountains there and you can go hiking there as well. It's a little bit superstitious there, what I've heard from people who hike there. Yep, we switched the trailer on about half the way and now I get the warning uh, I should look for a charger, but it's calculating actually. It's 53 miles to destination and I have 81 on it, so that should be enough. But you see the steep mountains there, just before the mountains coming now. The Model X 
as we can see it in the mirrors. Oops, there. Yeah, the Model X is now towing the trailer behind me. My wife tows it. So that gives us a faster way to our destination. And uh, we are climbing up. And per phone I can watch my wife uh, how the charge is on their her car as well. As soon as I have reception, that is also necessary. Okay. That's it for me. Well, that's a nice place. There are trailers there as well. And solar panels. That is called Sunflower. Uh, you see how steep the mountains are. Marvelous views and we got 7% uh, decrease and here is almost, ah here you can see it, there is a breakaway uh, or runaway ramp coming close, 7% goes down. With that 7% uh, de decrease, sure that you can recharge your batteries, so now I'm arriving where how many percent? It's 4%, here's yes, a 7% decrease. And we're gonna get a runaway ramp here in half a mile. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. So we are on US or Arizona 188, uh, Senator Hart Highway. It's gonna be 31 miles to the marina and campsite. That's where we're going. We just passed through Tonto Basin and here's a little church there and a couple of houses. Not much to see, but people do live here. And there's a Cactus Flats. Is that the restaurant? Sports bar. All right. So we are already on the outskirts of the lake and there is a little overflow here because the lake overflow in many areas. That's not official lake, that is more the Tonto Basin there. And when the snow is melting in the winter, then this one gonna overflow. And that's actually a pretty natural area. You see that here. No natural case. There are people here also uh, fishing. Yeah, here does this lake start and there's a lot of boat traffic. We will be one of them tomorrow or the day after and the day after tomorrow. We have a boat for the whole weekend. Background, we're gonna see the big bridge and soon coming the Roosevelt Dam. So first we're gonna cross the bridge and then we're gonna go through the Roosevelt Dam. Or maybe we can have a peek to the Roosevelt Dam. There is our Roosevelt Bridge. And hope we get a glance to the dam. Hello, we arrived and we are at our nice location directly at the lake. And that's actually the closest side. There's one lane below us. And what you can see here, so there's one lane below us and we are directly at the lake. Looks beautiful. We made it with plenty of range. Actually, I had 25 miles left on the Model Y because I pulled longer on the distance and this one had oh, close to 100 miles or so left. So let me give you statistics of the day. So we drove distance of 125 miles, 64 kilowatts used and 519 watt per mile. It was not so much because as you remember half of the way was with the Model Y. And that's actually it for the day. We will have uh, fun for tomorrow because we are expecting a boat. We have good weather. It's almost too warm. I need to get that upper piece here for the Model X and some sub subscribe to the channel and see you the next time for the next part because probably next time maybe some drone footage and some uh, movie 
uh, from the lake.